Hey everybody, it's George Whittem reporting for Whittem's World. Yes, once again on Facebook Live. I gotta say, this platform is kind of addicting because, well, it's just so easy to do. <laughs> um, and now I found a lavalier mic that plugs into my phone directly and seems to get good audio. Um, so you guys can give me feedback, but I've been having a hard time getting great audio into my phone. I'm using an LG V20. The built-in mics are good, but this lab really seems to uh, really make a huge difference. Uh, you can let me know what you think. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble on about my phone, my setup. Let me get right into the review tonight. What I'm talking about is a Windows PC. And those that know me know I'm not big on Windows PCs. You'll very rarely see me talk about them, demonstrate anything on a Windows machine. Just classically, for the last 10 years, I've been a Mac user heavily, and I've really liked my Mac experience for the most part. However, for many of you, a Mac, even a used Mac, is kind of priced out of your price range. It's just prohibitively expensive. Um, or some of you may be just looking for something unique, like a computer you can have inside your booth with you, something that's completely silent. And there are very few options out there, although now there are Surface computers from Microsoft, which are full-blown Windows machines that are tablets with no fans. So they are starting to creep up, but they tend to be pretty expensive. If you just want a basic PC that runs Windows 10, that has very few bells and whistles that's just going to do the job for you and can connect to any HDMI video display, this could be the computer for you, and it's the Intel Compute Stick. And I've got one plugged in right now and working on my Sony TV behind me, my 53-inch LCD TV. I think it's 53 or something like that. And um, it's doing its job beautifully. It's plugged in over on the side. I'm going to show it to you here in a minute on my, uh, on my phone, on my video camera, so you'll get a better look at it. But before I do, let me just give you a few specs, a little bit of information about this thing. Here's the box it comes in, if that gives you any indication of how small it is. And for those that are really annoyed by the reversed letters on here, I'm going to shoot half the review at least with the backside camera. So that should make it a lot easier for you, <laughs> less annoying. But this is what the little guy looks like. If you're familiar with the... Uh, Amazon Fire Stick or the Roku Stick or any of those devices that plug in to a TV to give you video. This is a little bit bigger than those, but not much bigger. And this is a full-blown Windows PC in a stick. About half the size of a cell phone. So let me tell you the specs. This is the lowest end model they make, the least expensive. I bought it on Amazon for about $110 for real. Yeah. It's running an Intel Atom processor, and Intel Atom processors are their, their entry-level, low-power-consuming processors. It's not a rocket ship. It's not super fast. But, as you can see, it runs Adobe Audition. This is the newest version of Adobe Audition, CC 2017, and it runs it perfectly fine. In fact, if I hit record on that, record now I'm just recording from the microphone built into a webcam that's all I'm using I don't I don't have any other mics plugged in right now it's just this webcam but as you can see there it is rolling recording without issues so again Atom processor Windows 10 has wireless 802.11 AC which is the most current modern Wi-Fi standard for speed Bluetooth 4.0, also a very modern, up-to-date standard of Bluetooth. Very high-quality audio. You can actually play back through a Bluetooth speaker. 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. So that means the hard drive, so to speak, is only 32 gigabytes. Yeah, I know. That's not a whole lot. But honestly, it doesn't matter because it's all the space you need to run your operating system and a few of the apps that you need to run Everything else can go somewhere else. All the audio, 
video, whatever you do with this thing can go on an external drive because it has actual USB ports. It has two USB ports. One of them is a USB 3.0 port, one a USB 2.0 port. It also has a micro SD slot like every cell phone except iPhones, but almost every cell when Android phone has these little SD card slots, the same kind of card that come that's used with a GoPro. So you can stick, I think, a 128 gigabyte card in this thing, and you basically add 128 gigs more storage, or plug a USB hub in like I have. I've got a USB hub hub plugged in to the to the to the device, and the cord is behind me inconveniently, very inconveniently wrapped around behind me. But I've got a USB hub plugged in to the device through a, through an extension cord. That's this is an extension here. But um, then you can plug in more USB stuff. So I've got the webcam plugged in. I've got a mouse plugged in. Now normally for a device like this, you'd probably use a Bluetooth mouse. I just didn't have a Bluetooth mouse handy, so I'm using this lovely Dora the Explorer mouse. Um, and then I'm using tonight a Bluetooth keyboard from Targus that I found in one of my boxes of stuff. And it works beautifully. Um, so, oh, I also, sorry, I forgot, two gigabytes of RAM or memory. Now, that's not a lot by today's standards. Most low-end PCs are going to come with at least four gigabytes probably. But I have found that if you're not doing mega multitasking with lots and lots of tabs in a web browser, it's going to be fine. Just keep the tabs closed, keep your web browser closed, or only have one page open. Don't go over the top with too many pages, because web browsers are massive memory hogs, huge memory hogs. So as long as you keep those things closed, this thing seems to have no problem recording and doing its job. I've used it to demonstrate, uh, actually I've tried Skype with it, no problem. Zoom video chat, no problem. And that's plugged into a HD webcam. So I, I got to say, I'm impressed for something that's this small. And let me also say, inexpensive. It's under, I think, about 120 bucks. It, it depends on the price in the moment. You know, the prices go up and down. But for what this thing costs, the size of it, and the fact that it is totally fanless and absolutely silent. I think it's a pretty cool little killer tool for a voiceover studio. Plug this into a $120 1080p um, LCD monitor right into the back of the HDMI port, and you're good to go. I mean, it really it really does work. Um, I'm just using it here with this TV because it's convenient. I have an HDMI port available on the side of the TV. Let me show you the device itself. Let me unhook my camera from my cool little mount here, which I'll probably do a little video about this thing too, because it's really pretty cool. I got this cool mount that uh, holds a phone in its jaws, and then has a, a microphone arm as well, dual duty. There's my kitchen. <laughs> You're seeing my house in all of its glory, and I have a light clipped on there. Um, let's turn this around and let you see the actual device. Here it is. This is the actual Intel compute stick. It's just literally right now, if I was going to use this all the time, I'd probably Velcro it to the side of the TV or something. But it's plugged into a little HDMI extension cord that it comes with, just so it's not sticking out of the TV and putting strain on the connection. And then it's got the USB ports, as I mentioned. This USB port here, that's the power supply. That's actually what's powering the unit. This is the power and reset button. And over here is the micro SD slot. And that little tiny hole right there is, oh, if you take off this label on the front, that's one of those Kensington lock holes, so you can lock the thing, secure it to something. And here's the bottom of the unit. And that is all there is to it. That is the Intel Compute Stick, HDMI port on the back. 
amazing. So I gotta say, man, I am really impressed with this little thing. It's had no real issues whatsoever. It downloaded and installed all the updates, no problem. I'm actually new to Windows 10. This is the first device I've used with Windows 10. And I gotta say, they're really taking a lot of cues from Apple in terms of making it really user-friendly, updates installing automatically. It's, it's really doing, um, doing a, a pretty good job of being a, a user-friendly platform. Um, so kudos to Microsoft for seeming to really figure out Windows finally and getting it to that point of being a user-friendly platform that anybody can actually use. So again, Adobe Audition runs no problem. It's been rolling the whole time, capturing just a mic off of a webcam just to see what it'll sound like and what it'll, you know, see if it could actually keep rolling. So, wow, what a deal, what a deal. So now I'm gonna put my camera on my mount and I'm talking to the back of the camera so I can't see what I'm doing, but hopefully I'm in the shot right now. <laughs> this is the only way to get it to flip the image in Facebook Live so that you see it uh, properly instead of mirrored. Anyway, check it out. Looking for a, a cheap computer? Want something modern with a new OS? Something that's going to be supported for quite a while? Something that's totally, totally silent? Something that will just work with your existing keyboard, mouse, monitor, whatever you've got? And you want total silence to run it inside a studio? This thing, I gotta say, it's pretty much a no-brainer. Plug an external USB hard drive into it for backups or for storage. And uh, it's a totally viable recording studio computer. Well, this has been George Whittem reporting for Whittem's World. Uh, this will be my last report for the year, I believe, unless somehow I magically find time to squeeze some more in. That's what's fun about Facebook Live is, hey, once in a while the bug will get me and I'll just decide to start rolling on something. But this will be my last official video for the year. Um, so I appreciate all of you guys following, watching the videos, commenting, and liking. Um, you can leave comments below here on the Facebook feed. And of course, those of you watching this on YouTube, I also do read your comments and answer them. So please leave your comments. I really do appreciate it. If you've got an idea for a future topic on Widom's World or a product you want to have reviewed, send it in to widomsworld at edgestudio.com. And if you need any tech support, visit edgestudiotechnology.com. That's my tech portal over there at Edge Studio where everything technology exists. Well, thanks for watching. Happy holidays. This has been George Whittem reporting for Whittem's World, signing off. I'll see you all again in 2017. Happy New Year. Let's turn this baby around.